Welcome to our exploration of King Midas and the Golden Touch, a story that has intrigued people for generations. This myth not only entertains, but also offers insights into the nature of desire and what it means to be truly prosperous. As we examine this ancient tale, we'll look at its origins, consider its lessons about greed, and see how it has influenced literature and culture over time. The story of Midas is particularly interesting because it blends elements of folklore with historical figures, as some scholars believe Midas was based on a real king of Phrygia in the 8th century BCE. The story of King Midas is a good example of how our strongest desires can sometimes lead to unexpected and often problematic outcomes. Greek mythology contains many stories that explore the complicated nature of wishes and their results, often serving as cautionary tales. Midas's ability to turn objects into gold, which at first seemed like an amazing gift, quickly becomes a problem that threatens everything important to him. This story still feels relevant today, where the pursuit of wealth can sometimes come at the cost of other important aspects of life. It's worth noting that similar themes appear in folk tales from various cultures around the world, suggesting a universal human concern with the dangers of excessive desire. Our story begins with Midas doing a kind deed that sets the stage for his life-changing experience. Dionysus, the god of wine and festivities, was pleased by how Midas treated Silenus, the god's older companion, and offered the king a reward of his choice. Without much thought, Midas asked for the power to turn anything he touched into gold. Dionysus, aware of the potential problems this could cause, granted the wish, but with some reservation. This interaction between mortals and gods is a common theme in Greek mythology, often used to explore human nature and the consequences of our choices. At first, Midas was thrilled with his new ability. He watched in amazement as leaves, rocks, and even his throne changed into shining gold at his touch. However, his happiness didn't last long. When he sat down to eat, he began to realize the downside of his new power. Every bit of food and every drop of drink turned to cold, inedible metal as soon as it touched his lips. Midas found himself surrounded by incredible wealth, but unable to meet even his basic needs for food and water. This part of the story is often seen as a metaphor for the isolation that extreme wealth can bring, as the pursuit of riches can sometimes lead to the loss of life's simple pleasures. The idea of precious metals being both a blessing and a problem was an important part of ancient Greek culture. Gold represented not just wealth, but also divine power and the possibility of living forever. This dual nature of gold appears in many Greek myths, including the story of Jason and the Golden Fleece. The Greeks' complicated relationship with valuable resources is similar to modern debates about wealth distribution and ethical business practices, showing that humans have long struggled with balancing the desire for prosperity with the need to act morally. Archaeological evidence suggests that the ancient Greeks were indeed familiar with the process of refining gold, lending a practical backdrop to these mythological narratives. As Midas's situation got worse, he realized the true cost of his endless greed. His palace, once a place of comfort, had become a fancy but uncomfortable home. He couldn't hug his family or enjoy simple things in life. Feeling desperate, Midas asked Dionysus for a way to get rid of this gift that had become a curse. Dionysus, feeling sorry for the regretful king, told Midas to wash his hands in the Pactolus River to remove the golden touch. This moment of realization and the quest for redemption is a turning point in the story, illustrating the Greek concept of hubris and its consequences. The Pactolus River became the place where Midas found redemption and change. When he washed his hands in the river, the magical power left him and made the river's sands sparkle with gold, something the Pactolus was known for in ancient times. This act of washing was more than just physical. It represented a big change in what Midas valued and how he saw the world. As he came out of the river, Midas was free not only from his curse, but also from the greed that had taken over his life. Interestingly, geologists have found that the Pactolus River, modern-day Sartkayi in Turkey, does contain gold deposits, providing a possible historical basis for this part of the myth. <laughs> 